Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and today I've got a fountain pen that I want to share with you, and not the kind of pen that I would normally buy. This is the Pen BBS 499. Don't turn away if you're gold averse. Stay with me. This is an interesting pen, and it's worth checking out even if you would only want the matte black version. There is a matte black version. Uh, this pen is not the kind of pen I would normally buy either. This is really like, you know, 1980s, you know, kind of a gold. I'm doing this for all of you people who like bling, by the way. It's like a cat with a laser. I'm just going to keep you in this video for as long as I do that, I bet you. Anyway, this, this pen is uh, very, very, very shiny, but it's also pen BBS's first brass pen, so that makes it interesting. It has some very interesting design elements, even if you don't like the bling. And even though it is a pen with a metal section, I'm going to tell you, uh, as we look do the design overview and everything, why that has slipped past my filter in regards to this particular pen and why it might, might slip past yours as well. So let's flip that camera. Let's look at this pen and let's see why this uh, man with the golden gun style fountain pen might, might be worth your time. All right, so I've turned the lights down so that we can see this pen. This is really, in a lot of ways, just a well done fountain pen. This is, again, their first brass pen, and I think they've done a great job. And I, I will remind you, they do have a non uh, gold pen, one that is much more subdued, a matte black with gold trim that you may want to check out. But I really do find the work that they've done in the design here worth giving this pen a look. So it has this, I'm going to say flame, uh, flames, flowing water sort of motif going on in the engraving of the metal that I think looks really well done and good. The clip is very, very familiar to Pen BBS folks, right? The sword clip is there. It's kind of stiff on mine, but very springy and very functional. Works great. Again, I don't carry it in a pocket much because one, it is a long pen and a lot of newer shirts don't have as long a pocket. That becomes a thing. And it's just more bling than poor old boring me needs, right? At the top of the clip, you have on the finial, let's get that to the right direction, you have a pin BBS P and logo at the top, which is laser etched onto that. And then at the bottom, you just have a plain finial. So that's at least, see, there are some more subdued spots. If, if the other is too much, just, just stare at the bottom of the barrel. You'll be fine. You'll survive it. It'll be good. Then you have, on the trim ring, you have, of course, pin BBS and little logo there and the model number 499. And then we get to one of my favorite things about this pin. So this is the snap cap, right? It just slides on and Snick, oh, you know, you know, I actually really like the quality sound of a good snick. It's just like closing the door on a well-made car. Listen to this. There you are. One more time. Ah, yeah, they did it well. They did it well, and that's because they do have a liner down in there. I have not had any dry-out issues with this pen whatsoever. Just really, really reliable pen so far for me. Not an issue. Now, look at that. Then, let's go to the grip. The grip. Because this, for a lot of people, is a make or break thing. A metal grip section just is, for some of you, an absolute no deal. I get it. I understand why you feel that way. Uh, slipperiness, especially if you live in a humid climate or if you just happen to be uh, greasier than other people. I mean, it's we're not judging. It's 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 okay. And, you know, some people are just kind of greasy. Anyway, um, if maybe you live around here and it's too many Allsup's burritos from the gas station, I have no idea. Anyway, this has an engraved pattern that is slightly different and kind of shrunk down and finer than the overall pattern on the barrel. And this is like fingerprints. And combined with your own fingerprints, if you still have them, then uh, it works 
really well. And I don't actually find it to be slippery at all. Works well. So the nib also got the Midas touch and is all gold in color rather than a two-tone affair like most of the finds that I have from Pen BBS. And then of course you have the plastic feed and it is a removable, you just unscrew it, a removable nib unit because Pen BBS, this is one of the great things, right? You can swap out their other nibs. So continuing down the pen, we take off the barrel and then we find of course that Pen BBS always includes one of their converters, which is also, by the way, something you can easily get uh, for their pens. But I really, of course, appreciate that. All right, let's do a quick size comparison. Another metal pen, but so very different in every possible way, is the Lamy All Star. This is in that azure blue. And then the Waterman Graduate. This is the chromed version. And just a great pen. It has a great fine nib. I mentioned fine nibs a minute ago, and this has a great one. Very smooth. Another pen some of you have, a lot of you have, Jinhao 911. Stainless pen. Uh, dirt cheap, but reliable. You can also swap that out with a Bobby nib, Waverly style nib, if you want to, and have something really cool there. And, of course, you got to have a pen BBS in here, right? So why not a 308 in Galaxy Blue? Absolute pen BBS classic pen. Love it. And then, how could we not have a cross classic metal pen a century rollerball? You have to have that pen in something next to this because in the 1980s, this in this kind of a gold, it was in shirt pockets all over the place. The 60s, the 70s, the 80s, very common gift pen at work. It was a common work gift, that sort of thing. This was a gift to me, uh, not work related. And there you have them posted. And I told you it was a long pen. Barely fits in the frame, but uh, not quite as much longer as those other pens than I thought it was. Perhaps I was just blinded by all the bling. This is a fine nib. Steel number six. And then this is a pen BBS ink. And this is their Chongqing City. And I did recently review this ink. I really like it. Some nice shading and things going on here. The nib is really nice and smooth, and um, I'm not the only one to say this. Some other folks in their reviews have pointed out that the flow seems better than pen BBS nibs of the past. Plenty wet, not crazy wet, but plenty wet. It also shows you that ink, and by the way, I will put a link to the ink review here at the end of the video. Just really nice, smooth writing pen. I just really enjoy it. Now that's typical. I like Pen BBS, period. They probably are among my favorite fine nibs. Uh, Faber Castell, also up there, really high on the list. But really, I enjoy writing with this pen, and that's actually why it's surprised me. Um, just looking at it, you know, judging a book by its cover, I wasn't sure that it was a pen that I would like, although I like the metal work. I like the flames and all of that, and the grip, for me, works really, really well. Uh, it probably depends on whether or not you have uh, still have all of your fingerprints or whether or not you owe people you should never have borrowed money from or bet with before and you've had to get rid of them, you know, that sort of a thing. Uh, but I still have fingerprints, so they grab onto that. Works really well. <laughs> I'm causing mischief, and I don't even know who for. Anyway.
All right, just a little bit more of a writing sample. Well, writes well. Let me do my quick scribble. And here's why I do. You might be asking, why does he just scribble like that when he does the fast writing test? Here's why. Because I'm being honest with you. I'm just giving you scribble during the fast writing test. Many people will tell you that they're actually writing something during their fast writing test. And then I, we, we know that they're not because who can read that? Why? I'm just, I'm just being upfront with you. You're not going to be able to read it, okay? Okay. So, ink kept up. Flow's not a problem. I probably turned a little bit here and there. And maybe there's... I think there was somewhere where I am pretty sure it was just a little bit of a skip. Maybe it was here. Uh, this one, I think, is me. Maybe right here. I think right here. So for the most part, you know, like 99.5, kept up, no problem. And an actual, everyday, not nonsensical writing, it has kept up. I have had zero issues with this pen, as reliable as any uh, pen BBS pen tends to be. Love that, Snick. Don't you love that? I, I got to do that again. <laughs> Do it again. You remember that in Lion King? Say it again. Mufasa. <laughs> there you go. That's that's uh, that's just the squirrel cage of my brain. Squirrel. Anyway, do I like this pen? Yeah, I do. And I said that from the very beginning. And it surprises me as much at the end of this video as it did when I started it. But I do like the pen now. I don't carry it around in my pocket very often because that's just more bling than uh, I'm very unblingy. I just I no. But as a desk pen, the pen that I've been writing with, just you know, literally at the desk, I like it. I like the balance of it. The black one, if it came with silver trim instead of gold, would probably really appeal to me. But this is what I'm really hoping. Pen BBS. Hey, this is what I'm really hoping could be in the future. Uh, this is just my own desire, not heard anything, obviously. And that is this pen in a stealth, all black, kind of that uh, uh, gunmetal finish on the uh, sword clip here and the nib. I think that would be a stunner. Uh, whether or not, it, not with this flame, but just in with some other design or just simple, just as stealthy as can be, I, I think... I think I'm not the only one who thinks that would be the perfect antidote to the the overblingification of the pen. But uh, bling or not, talented work here. They did a great job, and it is a really good pen. And maybe it might even be a pen that you might consider for your own collection. Anyway, God bless you. Have a great week. I'll see you in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you know when we're doing the next ink test review or paper test and all that good stuff.